Hi guys, a quick video about dust extraction. Guys, I am a member of a beginner's wood turning group on Facebook, link below. Very, very friendly group. We've been going for about three months, we've already got nearly 3,000 members. Some very, very experienced wood turners in there as well. Um, always available to answer your questions. It's a very, very friendly group, no silly questions. So um, yeah, link below, might want to give it a look. One of the things we get asked a lot of is about dust control. Now unfortunately what tends to happen, and I did, I did this myself, I'm, I'm guilty of this myself, you go out and you buy lathe, you buy all the tools you, you need, or you start, at least you start to buy the tools, and I think you never bought all the tools you need. Um, but one of the th last things sometimes you buy, and again I did this myself, is um, dust control. Now for, when you're using your lathe, and especially when you're sanding, you're going to create a very, very fine particle of dust. Um, it's anything, it tends to be below 5 micron. And anything below 5 micron, um, when, you're, um, when you're turning the wood, a lot of it you'll swallow, but some of it will end up in your lungs and it stays in your lungs and it's very, very nasty. Um, carcinogenic, and it give you lots and lots of problems later in life with this fine dust in your lungs. So, dust control should be one of the first things you think about. So, what I'm going to do... I am going to, we're going to show you around my workshop. Uh, in my workshop I have three, you could argue four different types of dust control um, systems. So I'll show you what I've got in my workshop and hopefully you'll be able to take something from this workshop into your own workshop just to, just to help you out as best as I can. Right guys, welcome to my workshop. Right, this is the first type of extraction I have in my workshop, this is a high pressure extractor, very similar to a vac standard vacuum cleaner, apart from a standard vacuum cleaner on your normal um, tools, such as this bench sander, with the fine dust will clog. This won't clog, this has got a filter bag on the inside, so this won't clog, and um, it just works really well. Reasonably um, cheap-ish, they're, they're about £100-ish each of these, this particular type I use. 100 mil hose on the back. And because it's a high pressure system, you can reduce the hose size to fit. This, I think this is down to about 56 mil to fit on this sander. But you can also reduce the hose size down to fit your standard power tools, such as orbital sanders, jigsaws, that kind of thing. So um, this, I think, works really well on this one cell. Just as a, um, just another note, I, my sanding station, next door to my door. So, lots of fresh air coming in when you're when I'm using it. The only downside I find to this system is, let me turn it on. It's pretty noisy. So we don't have that on too long because um, it annoys the neighbours. But I do have, I think we've got about five of these systems, these um, extractors. We've got another one over here. This is a um, when I move around the workshop, so this is something that I'll just move around the workshop if I'm using a portable sander or something like that. Um, so that, that just moves around the workshop. We've got one built in here as well for when I'm doing any um, carving or biography. That's connected to this um, staple hose, allegedly. Um, and we've got one on the um, on my bandsaw as well. So it's a very very versatile system, relatively cheap. I think these are about £100 each. Um, it's a good investment. It's not something you're going to have to buy every every day of the week, and it should be something that's with you for a long, long, long time. As long as you keep them clean, you keep the filter clean, it should last a long, long, long time. So um, that's dust extraction system number one. Right, extraction system. Oh, where are we? Focus. Right, guys, extraction system number two. I have a fine air extraction system. This is sited above my lathe. Now this isn't my primary source of um, extraction. Now these are air scrubbers. These are designed to take those fine particles out the air. Um, now the best thing about this is this is on a remote control so and a timer. So what I tend to do, I'll, I'll finish work for the day. Oh, hang on, where we? I'll finish work for the day. I turn this on to the maximum of um, four hours for this particular unit 
Um, it runs on high speed for four hours. I shut the door and I, I go and leave the workshop. What happens then? All those fine particles in the air, this, this will suck all those fine particles. It recirculates all the air and it collects them in the filter. Now, if you were to come in here without this going, if it was dark with a torch, probably won't recommend that in this one. It's, it used to be an old slaughterhouse, this place, so it's, um, it's probably, probably something I wouldn't do. Um, but if you come in here with a torch and, and shone the torch at night, you would see all those fine particles of dust in the air. This will help get rid of that. You know those, that layer of dust when you clean down for the day, you wipe everything down, clean the work surfaces, it's when you come back in the following day and everything's got that fine layer of dust on. This, this, this will help. Um, I can't, cannot recommend these enough, but these are not your primary um, form of dust control. I see this on the group, I see these set up above laves and things like that, absolutely perfect. But don't use this as your fine, um, your, your, your only source of dust control. Um, these are very much a bit of an add-on, but um, well worth investing in. And again, 130, 140 pound, I think this system, keep the filters clean, should last years and years and years, and, and you only get one set along. So um, I cannot re recommend this, um, this enough. And so that is dust extraction number two. Hi guys, welcome to my garage. Right, we're in the garage next door to my workshop and I have a low pressure system uh, in my workshop. This is Now this is for the dust extraction on my lathe. Now, you might have seen these systems before. They normally are marketed as a chip collector because on the top, you normally have a cloth bag. Now the problem is with a cloth bag is that when the system is put under pressure and the and the and the dust is coming coming in, it comes through this pipe here. There's a plastic impeller here which spins at very very high speed, dragging all the dust and all the chips, all chippings, into the extractor. The chippings then fall into the bag. Now the problem is a lot of these have got a cloth bag on the top. Now the cloth bag, because this can't be a closed system. Um, hence why you can't you can't actually put a reducer on this where you can on the other so you can't this is this can't be a closed system so this needs to be able to breathe now if you've got the cloth bag on here the very very fine particles of dust anything maybe below five micron every system is different but, but but basically the very fine particles of dust will then be, get released back into the workshop now i haven't got that problem because this is in my garage next door but what I have also on here is a, is the fine particle filter. Now this goes down to MDF um, size particles, very very fine particles. So the extraction pipe collects all the chip chippings and the dust through it into the impeller, up into the top of here. Chippings fall down into the in, into the bag, and then the fine particles get caught in here. Now what I do, I just put the handles on. Pull the handles around the top, and then that moves all the fine dust into the bag. So I can use this as a main extractor to my lathe, and I'm very lucky because I can put it in the garage next door. Now, I appreciate not everybody can do that, but maybe even if you've got the smallest shed, these things, I mean, to be honest, when this is going, it sounds like a jet engine. So the way this is, it's, it's in my garage. Um, the electrics have been, by a qualified electrician, we've taken the electrics off this, we've put it into my workshop so I can... I can start um, set this um, start and stop it in the workshop. It does sound like a jet engine, so it, it's a lot quieter in here. But you may be able to, even if you've got the smallest shed, you may be able to actually just put this. I don't know, maybe in a yeah, you can get tiny sentry sheds and something like that. You may be able to actually put this in another shed outside your workshop and adopt this kind of way of doing it, just to keep the noise down inside the workshop. So this is dust extraction system. Number three. All right, we're back in the workshop. Right, what I have here is, this is the 100 mil pipe that was collect, connected to the extractor that you saw in my garage. Now we have a splitty pipe here and two blast gates. If I shut this one and open this one, then that is it's then connected to a floor chip collector. Now I got this, this came from Charnwood Tools in the UK only place I've ever could see it uh, I ever found one um, basically when this is on you brush all your chippings into there up the pipe work and into the filter works really really well I would recommend anybody getting one of these 
because they'll just it's just outstanding. I, I've cleaned up for today, but literally minutes minutes it takes a bit of brush just to brush your chip in, into the um, under the hood there and into the pipe work. works really really well. Right, and above that we have another last gate. So we'd open this and show that. That is connected to this 100 mil stay put hose. I can bend this, shape this, move it wherever I want. So what I do is got the headstock, got the piece of wood, we finish the actual turning, move the headstock down as close to the hose as I can before I start sanding. That way all the fine dust ends up in here, through the pipe work and into the filter next door. Right, final, final part of dust extraction. So I wear a Trend Air Shield Pro. Lots of different makes of this on the market, different brands. This one is a little bit big, takes a little bit getting used to, but you've got fine filters on the back, sucks the air in here. You get a nice clean stream of air coming across your face. It's a good face shield as well. Now I have a beard, I also wear glasses and I've never found a, a normal face mask that didn't steam up. This, you don't get any problems like that. I wear this all the time when I'm sanding, whatever I'm sanding. Um, I I, th I think I've got some good dust extraction in the workshop, but I never 100% trust it. This is my final line of defence. That was a whistle-stop tour of my workshop dust extraction. Hopefully you found it useful, hopefully. Um, hopefully there's things that you can you saw which you may be able to take away and use in your own workshops. So, um, if you like the video, please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, just button just down here. Also, please think about joining our Facebook Wood Turn for Beginners group. Again, links are below. And um, yeah, like I said, leave comments and um, hopefully you found that useful. So again, guys, thanks for watching and um, we'll see you soon.